Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here, and today I'm bringing another review. Today I'll be reviewing Sentinel Real Bone, Conti Red. Conti Red comes from the 2000s show, Fully Cooly. When enemies appear, Conti will consume Naoto and transform into a red state. In this form, Conti is battle ready and could transform into a cannon using Naoto's ammunition. So, be sure to check out the 2000s show, Fully Cooly, it is simply fantastic, but nonetheless, Sentinel Real Bone, Conti Red is another fantastic release in the Real Bone line. Conti Red has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic pay applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range articulation. So first take a look at Conti Red's accessories. Conti Red comes with a pair of open hands, a pair of relaxed hands, a pair of dynamic open hands, a pair of holding hands, one additional head, one cape, one stand, and one Gibson EB0 1961 model guitar. So first let's take a look at the open hands. The open hands have a fantastic sculpt, a fantastic paint going on, very nice clean and crisp paint going on here, definitely very cool, nice pink for the inner palm, nice brown for the outside, absolutely fantastic here, very nice. Next are the relaxed hands, we have the same great sculpt and same great paint going on, definitely very cool here, very nice. Next we have the dynamic open hands, same great sculpt and same great paint going on, very nicely done here. Finally we have the holding hands here, now first and foremost, same great sculpt and same great pants going on, however, you'll notice each hand is sculpted differently. So this way we have two different grip types for the guitars. Very nice here. To attach the hands, these attach via peg systems. We'll grab our figure here. We'll kind of zoom out some. If we pop off the fist, it exposes a very long peg here. We'll grab one of our new holding hands here and slide that in like so. Very nice. Nice rotation going on. Definitely very cool. The next accessory is the Gibson EB0 1961 model guitar. So, this guitar is absolutely fantastic here. A very nice metallic red, very nicely sculpted and very nicely detailed here. We'll kind of focus all this. Let's get in pretty close too, so. Absolutely fantastic here. Very nicely done. We have all the, I think these are called frets or something like that. So this is absolutely fantastic. So, how this is held, we'll grab our figure here. In the holding hand, you'll notice there's actually a peg or kind of like a block here in the inner palm. We'll kind of focus that there. And it slides right in between that and the thumb. So we'll grab the guitar by the neck here and just kind of slide this right on in there. And that's it. So a very nice firm grip. Absolutely fantastic there. Now, in case you haven't noticed already, and we'll go ahead and pull this guitar right on out. We'll kind of focus this here. You'll notice the paint from the guitar does rub off in the hand. So do be aware of that. Kind of see that's worn out in there. So do be leery of that. But still, very cool. The next accessory is the dynamic cape here. So, this cape is absolutely fantastic here. Very nicely weathered, very nicely tattered here. Paint apps are absolutely fantastic. Very nicely done here. Also, you have the top collar piece of the cape in the bottom here that can actually rotate and spin around for dynamic poses, so very nice here. So to attach this, we'll cover that in just a second. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the additional head. So we'll put that way over there. So for the additional head, it's absolutely fantastic here. Very nice vibrant red going on. Very nice metallic red for the sides of the head here. Very nice translucent pieces for the side tips here. Also a very nice compound lens. Also in the center of the head, you'll notice Conti Red is summoning the full power of Atmos. I think that's what it's called. So pretty cool here. Very nice. To attach this, we'll cover the cape as well. Grab our figure. We're going to pop the head right on and off like so. Kind of keep this all in focus here. We'll grab our cape. All we have to do Put that over top of the neck here, like so. Pretty simple there. Kind of focus it all again. Grab our new head, peg it right on in, and that's it. So this looks absolutely fantastic here. Very nicely done. Simply stunning here. Very cool and very dynamic, so this is very nice. We'll kind of zoom out just a little bit, so definitely very cool. So, finally we have the stand. So the stand here, it's a very nice stand. Pretty plain and pretty basic here, so. Um, again, I wish it was more customized for Conti Red, but still it's very cool. At the top here, you'll notice there are two different positions for the peg, so we can actually kind of zoom out and kind of focus all this. So first, we can have this in an articulation position. We can twist this side to side. We'll put it like so, move that like this, or have it in a stationary position. And that's about it for the stand. So it's pretty basic, but still very cool. So to attach the stand to the figure, grab our figure here. What we need to do, there's a back panel here for Conti Red. We're going to pop this back panel out like so. And you'll notice there's a peg here that comes out as well in the center. So we'll kind of focus all this. Get that like that. Push out this peg hole. We'll go ahead and reattach that back panel. Slot that in like so. 
and have that like that. You'll see there's an open hole here, so we'll focus all this. Also, you notice the cape can separate, so it's pretty cool. So we'll grab our stand here and peg that into the back, and that's it. So pretty cool. Very nice seamless support there, so very nice. So let's take one moment put Conti Red in a very nice jumping pose. So now we have Conti Red in a very nice jumping pose and looks absolutely fantastic. I really do enjoy how the stand simply pegs into the figure's back. That way we can simulate those truly seamless jumping and flying poses and that looks absolutely fantastic. I really do wish the stand was more customized for Conti Red, but at the end of the day, what we have here is still very cool. So, now we have the accessories out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the Conti Red figure itself. Conti Red has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic pay applications, and a fantastic range of articulation. So first, let's start with the head. We can look left, we can look right, very high up, very far down. The shoulders actually pull out, so we yank those right on out like so. The arms raise 90 degrees, there's an entire arm swivel going on. We have very nice double jointed elbows, also there's a swivel in the elbows. The fists are on pegs, so we can tilt and spin these freely. In the upper chest, we can twist side to side, lean side to side, and lean very far forwards. This figure cannot lean backwards much at all. We spin around to the back here, you'll notice, when leaning this figure forwards, we'll kind of zoom in and focus all this, this peg becomes exposed. So, when you straighten this figure back up, make sure this tucks back underneath the upper chest. We'll get that back in place like so. It's pretty cool there. For the waist, we can twist side to side. Very nice there. We'll kind of zoom out some. For the legs, we have a very impressive, full 360 rotation going on. Also, legs come out sideways about 90 degrees, so definitely very cool here. We have very nice double jointed knees. The feet can tilt and swivel. So we have a very nice hyper articulated Conti Red figure here. We'll kind of get it all in focus here. This is absolutely fantastic. In terms of sculpted paint apps, this figure is absolutely fantastic and absolutely spot on from the manga and show here. We have some very nice clean and crisp paint apps going on. Definitely very cool. We have this very nice vibrant red going on. Accents of orange and hints of metallic red here too. So this is definitely very cool. We'll get into the head here. You notice we have this very nice compound lens going on. Absolutely fantastic here. We have the metallic red here on the sides of the head. Definitely very cool here. Very nicely done. Very nicely detailed and absolutely show accurate. So we'll go all around the body here. Very nicely done here. Simply stunning figure here. Absolutely fantastic. A very nice representation of Conti Red. Definitely very cool here. So, now we have the Conti Red figure out of the way, let's go ahead and conclude this review. To conclude the review, Sentinel Real Bone Conti Red is another fantastic release in the Real Bone line. Conti Red has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic pay applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. This figure is definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. I highly recommend that everyone picks this figure up. Also, be sure to check out the 2000 show, Fully Cooly. It is simply fantastic. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe.